Welcome to week 26 of Valor Discipleship. As we look at this week, we are continuing to share our story, really share his story through our lives. And so we want to look at that again this week. Last week, you started the memory verse and you started answering the questions about your testimony. And this time, this week, you're going to actually write down your testimony and be prepared to read it to your group. But before I talk about testimonies, I want to re encourage you and remind you to continue to put God's word in your heart. This week's verse says, It is not for freedom that Christ has set us free. Stand firm then and do not let yourselves be burdened again by the yoke of slavery. Galatians 5.1 And this is a perfect scripture to keep in mind as you write your testimony. Sometimes the bondage of our past or the things that we remember that we've done or that God has walked us through can put us into bondage, but instead it should set us free so that we see what God has done for us and we use that as a way to move forward. I often think of it as like carrying around a backpack and on the back are the ways that God has shown up in your life. That's what you looked at when you look at your testimony. All the ways that God has been in situations, it's like a faithful backpack all the faithfulness of God, both the situations and the way he intervened. And so as we move forward, we grab things out of that backpack and we look at them and we remember his faithfulness so that we can move forward. So don't let your past enslave you. Don't let it be bondage to you, but instead let it be freedom. And that's that's such a great verse to remember, Galatians 5.1, that you have put in your heart, that you've hidden in your heart, that you might not sin against him, and you might not let the enemy use that against you. So this week you answered some questions and you begin to process your testimony. I want to talk just a little bit about that. As you begin this week, you're going to actually write out your testimony and have it prepared so that next week you can share with your group. Now, it's, a, it's important that you write it down. It's important that you have it ready to share. That way, everybody will get a chance to share, and you will be able to hear the testimonies of others. But sometimes when we don't write it down and we just off the cuff share a testimony, it can be drawn out too long, or maybe we get off on tangents. But this way, when you write it down, you have a testimony, a specific testimony to share. I also want to encourage you as you're writing it, have a five minute testimony that you could share. You know, we need to be at a place where when we talk to others, when we sit down and have coffee with them, when we get to know them with just brief encounters, that we may not have hours and hours with that person, but we may have a few minutes that we can introduce them to our Savior and we can do that through our brief life story. So keep that in mind as you develop your testimony. Now there's some things that you have thought about this week that you've answered questions in in week 25 that in week 26 you're going to move into sharing those. I want to talk about those for just a minute. The first one is that you are going to talk about the faithfulness of God in your past. Now remember, we have to share our past in order for us to show others the faithfulness or in order for us to write the testimony that shows God's faithfulness. But we aren't focusing in on the bad things that we've done or the past sin in our life. We're actually focusing in on the faithfulness of God in our lives. So be sure you continue to keep your focus on God and not on the things that you've done. The next thing is you're you're going to have a turning point. So the back, the back story is important. It's important that people see where we were, but don't spend your the most, the majority of your time there. Have a turning point where you say, this is where I was, but then I met Jesus. Then I begin to understand what God did for me. And so you have a pivot point where you turn. And then right now, where are you? The important thing is none of us have arrived. So don't write a testimony as this is how I was. God came into my life and now I've arrived. None of us have arrived. So be sure that you share where you are now, that the things that God's still working on you, it's very encouraging to others to see what God has done, but to see also that, that you still have a ways to go until we're face to face with Jesus. He's continuing to work on us and people need to see that in our lives as well. And then you share about the future. You share what he's done and because of his faithfulness, the things you know he's going to do for you. Share that hope that you have of things that you know that God's going to do that are coming that have not arrived yet. So you really have four parts of your testimony. Make sure you cover each one of those so that you can share that with others. Write it down. Write down word for word so that you are ready to read it to someone. That will be very helpful in this segment of the Valor Discipleship Groups.
All right, so that's what you're gonna be doing this week. You're gonna to begin to talk to each other about the memory verse. If you haven't soaked the memory verse, soak Galatians 5 1 so that you can share it. And then begin to talk about the process of answering these questions and how God has really been present, the things he's been doing in your life as you write your testimony. Then this week, write down your testimony. Be ready to share with your group next week. I know that God's going to continue to work just as he did last week as you begin to write his story in your life. Have a great week.